Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So tonight we're going to answer a question. We're going to answer a question that keeps popping up, mainly from Republicans. Um, and it makes sense that they don't really get the answer to this. The question is, why is it that the House was able to be partisan? And the Senate is supposed to be impartial and fair and objective. Where did that crazy idea come from? It's a legit question from some people, because they may not know. So we're going to answer it. The U.S. government has three co-equal branches, the legislative, the judicial, and the executive. They're all supposed to be equal. However, <laughs> the House of Representatives and the Senate are not equal. The House of Representatives was designed to be the place for the young upstarts. And the Senate was supposed to be for older and wiser people. Allow things to cool out, let cooler heads prevail there. That was the idea. This is spelled out in the Constitution. You're going to notice a pretty big difference here. Article 1, Section 2, Clause 5. The House of Representatives shall choose their Speaker and other officers and shall have the sole power of impeachment. Okay. Article 1, Section 3, Clause 6. The Senate shall have the sole power to try all impeachments. Sounds familiar. Sounds about the same. See, except the Senate has a little bit more in it. When sitting for that purpose, they shall be on oath or affirmation. Why is it different? Because it's literally different in the Constitution. It's spelled out differently. It's designed to be different. The Senate had a constitutional obligation to be impartial. They betrayed that obligation. In my eyes, they betrayed the Constitution of the United States. It's real simple. It is, it's right there. It does not surprise me that many people who have we the people as their profile picture have never read the Constitution, though. It seems to be a, a growing trend. The other argument I would like to lay to rest real quick is the idea that, well, he was guilty, but we didn't want to remove him. That also flies in the face of the Constitution. The relevant passage says, shall be removed. Not can be. Not could be if you wanna. Not could be if it won't hurt your re-election chances. Shall be. Shall be is legalese. It means must be. The Senate failed to uphold the Constitution. Period. Full stop. It's spelled out. That's why it was allowed to be different because it's supposed to be different. Because the Houses, the House of Representatives and the Senate, they're not the same. They're designed to be different. They're designed, in theory, to give everybody a voice. The Senate bears the most responsibility. You can try to spin this however you want. But anytime you say it, all you're doing is telling everybody around you that you've never read the Constitution. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good night.